This boy's gonna get fucked, Max, let me tell you what! He's gonna get what he's deserving! I'm gonna tell you right now. Welcome to Demi Games. My name's Max. And I'm, uh, my name's Michael. And my friends call me... Seven nights a week to play D&D, but he's never free, so... Yippee! <laughs> I just got sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> oh my god. So Max said that we have new skills. Roasted. For our boy Cyrus. I what do we want? Or do, are we going to buy a the, the cheap lightning bolt or are we going to buy another big spell? I think a cheap lightning bolt is helpful. Let's buy cheap lightning bolt then. And then we can buy the big spells later. Alright. Just what? because like... Ooh. Ooh. What does elemental augmentation do? Elemental attacks do more damage perhaps? Oh. Oh, excellent. It just increases it by 50. Yes. Excellent. We will defeat all who oppose us. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Now, see if anyone else can learn skills. I don't think so. But... Yeah. Oh, thank you. Maybe let's get either single target attack axe or... I think that, right? Yeah, because then it hits everything. I would go with that. Yeah. And because that means, like, if we have to attack mm. using that one, then it's... True. Gonna hopefully, hey, you got an ability. Hopefully deal with us all. Definitely. Uh, with Elfin? Sweet! He gets more SP for free! That's that's good. Because then he can just heal more. <laughs> this is a great game. This is a good game for good people. Everyone will fight. Let's go in. Here's the thing, right? <laughs> it's like, I, you messed with me, so I brought my grandmother. <laughs> and she's like, who's gonna get whipped? I'm gonna whip the shit out of that snake! <laughs> it's like, she takes up her big, like, her walking stick, and it just starts growing and becoming beefier and, like, it starts being made of metal, all these other sticks come out, and she's like, oh, let's go! Let's get them! Oh, man. No one knows Elf's favorite. Ugh. You know what my favorite is? Blood. Mm. <laughs> or my grandma's tea! Ah. That's not actually funny. Sorry, gotta, everyone. I goofed. Gonna, gonna brew the snake's fucking corpse! <laughs> gonna make it into tea! I just make everything into tea! Oof. Hiss, boy, hiss. That is a big hiss. Do you think, like, making everything into tea would make things taste better? No. Isn't that, like, the... I don't think so, right? Did he just laugh at this enormous snake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, what's he gonna do? Sorry to drop it. Oh my god, he's an action hero. Say, don't suppose you can spare a nip of snake bite, could ya? That's not a... That, that's not words, giant snake. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no. Don't get up. Uh, this guy is a boss. He's so confident. He's so confident. It's a shame he... Oh, it's too bad he's going to be outshined oh, by the old wow. woman. I reckon the old woman's going to kill it in two hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we, uh... I'm going to analyze it. Just real quick at the start. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, it's a big snake. Oh, and he's got, like, big boy snake friends. I am ready. Oh, yeah, they're kind of big. Let's uh -huh. get it on! Oh, yeah, just bring her out right away. Why not? Oh my god! Oh my- <laughs> Yes! Oh my god, they're weak to stubs! Oh my god! Oh boy. Wait, no, 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 here's the plan. Just spend all of your turns- Just bre breaking the big boy? Breaking the big one. And then she'll just fucking obliterate him. Do? Give you, give all your BP to Cyrus. Or the bandit, maybe? No, if there's you, not much point, If there? you give all your BP to Cyrus, then Cyrus can just whack it with its axe a bunch of times. You're right. Not not Cyrus, I'm Alphan, Alphan, Alphan. Alphan? Yeah. Because it, we'll, it's 100% weak to axes. Oh yeah, you're right. Or else this game would be broken. Or else this game would be a stupid game. <laughs> so if we do this... But, but it's weak to ice. Alphan has ice powers. He I does. Ah! Oh, that everyone's why poisoned. That's he's got the anti-poison ability. But you can concoct... Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to hit him or going to anti-poison everyone? Beat the shit out of him. True. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. So, oh wait, do you reckon it's weak against starves? Hmm. Ooh, well, we can just try. I think it's just worth it to use Ice Wind. Yeah, true. Because then the small snake might be as well. Oh, got him. Because I don't re really want to use um, yeah. all my BP with him. Here comes, here, here she comes. Here she comes! Uh, wait, hold on, hold on a minute. Lion Dance does what? A physical attack. Oh, we can't... Is the old woman still here? Yeah. Oh, she just flies in every so often. Yeah, she'll just fly in after you do your move. Um, we probably need to heal everyone actually, with Alfin. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. The Excellent. Now here's her move. 
Thank you. Oh my, well. <laughs> this is, this is, okay, Alfin. All right, um, concoct. And then if you use the dust. Which one, soothing? Yeah, what's a ruinous seed do? Yeah, the soothing dust, because that hits everything. I think. Oh. And then purifying seed and purifying dust is like better. So this is the pieces we use. Yep, here's, here's the thing about essence of pomegranate. That gives everyone BP. And essence of grape gives everyone HP. So if we use essence of grape, we'll heal everyone. And then if we use nox root, it'll revive everybody. It'll cure everybody of poison. I see. But how how screwed up is that? That's a lot of healing. That is a lot. Uh, and Cyrus. it was free. Yeah. Wait, do we get BP if we're poisoned? Yes. Okay. I was going to say that would be a bit mean. It would be very mean. We got to break him before Primrose's next turn. We have to do it. Oh, it looks just... like he's weak to lots of elements. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. Try spears. You... No, it's probably swords. Yeah. It's probably, what, yeah. Like, what, what's above us? Hunnit, right? And yes. And what's she use? No, swords? no, above us is um, the thief who uses knives and swords. So yeah, it's probably swords. Yeah. Right? But if you use your merchant skills, you can summon... Um, okay. mercenaries. Is that worth it? Well, okay, press Y for me. Oh. There we go. Sword attack. It'll hit the- and if you BP it, yeah, and then it'll hit them with a sword, and that's probably what they're weak against. I'll do that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, another MVP. Screw these traveler guys, it's all about the NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that NPC life. Break him! Just break him! Just hit him twice with the staff! Just, uh... Yes! And now he's broken. This is gonna be a nightmare. This is gonna be hilarious. I mean, what do we do? What do we do? Like, do I we think just attack? It doesn't matter. Yeah, just hit him. Is it weak to dark? Yes. Yep. This is gonna be... Oof. <laughs> well... He's, I mean, he took it. He took, he took it. took it like a champ. But... He took it like an... Oh, but look at his health. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's basically dead. Is he weak to arrows? No. No. Well, just... Alfin! Do the concoct move! Concoct. So if you do the dust thing again, it'll do everybody. Wait, is so, that to heal? Soothing and purifying heals, injurious stuff and hazardous stuff like hurts them. Oh, I see. So you can hit all of them with something. So if I use soothing dust... Well, no, it stops. That's a seed. So you'll only heal one person. Oh. But if you use the dust, you'll heal everyone. I see. So if I do that, then everyone heals the poison? Yep. Nice. So that's why he's very good. <laughs> he negates everything. Yeah, there we does. go. Solved. And then we just... I don't know. She can just do it if she wants. And... Oh, that's right. The old woman's here. Attack. Blam. <laughs> Oof. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't mess with my grandma. She's going to come at you. That's ridiculous. Alphonse is level 8 already. Wait, what? He's level 8. This is a ridiculous... I can't believe that worked. Hang on, it's still alive. That's not okay. Ah, oh, this isn't like Undertale. I wanted to slaughter that man. It's not a man. That's the kind of nice thing about Undertale, when someone, like, when you f f finish a fight, if you kill them, they actually die. They just Everything, They die, like, it's not like, oh, you beat me, it's just not the dead. They yeah. are completely dead. That's cool. Which is pretty, like, it, it's definitely, um... That's all or nothing, though. Then. That's all or nothing. Like, the stakes are really high, though. And it makes, like, the your actions feel really profound. Because you're like, oh, it's not like I'll fight them and then they'll be alive, like regular RPG <laughs> tropes. If I try it, if I stab them enough times with the knife, they... They are gone. They don't move anymore. <laughs> Is that a hard game? Mm. If you fight everything? A little bit. We tried to do it, remember? We did. It, it's know. really hard if you do, like, the fight everyone. We, our first episode ever was going to be Undertale. Where yeah. I was going to appear in. But, um... It did not record, and we spent four hours. And uh, that sad. Yep, and we just had no visual. It was very upsetting. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, some backstory. Let's talk over it. I'm not interested in your life. <laughs> the truth is, I didn't think I'd be able to raise you and protect you on my own. But thankfully I was able to, or else you wouldn't be here. And that's why she went to get flowers, because she appreciates him. From the special dangerous place. What a cute world where parents don't exist. Hey, uh, let's see who we've seen so far. Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look. Primrose. Dad's Ooh. dead. Uh, let's look. Oh no, Tressa has Tressa, parents. Tressa's... Tressa has parents. She I'm... abandoned them. I'm sure they'll be but... murdered in chapter three. Yeah. 
positive they'll be cooked. Yeah. <laughs> Probably by Guy Fieri. Big axe, make some soup. C come in swinging through fucking... <laughs> come in swinging. The Riverlands. Through the Riverlands. Called. He absolutely is, like, so versatile. <laughs> He's actually the town's woodcutter slash apothecary slash chef slash professional hunter. Mm. Who's just like, hello, giant snake. Meet my <laughs> enormous axe. Woof! <laughs> 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 I sure hope we got the medicine in time to save his sister. I think that we were uh, well and truly efficient. I would say that we were particularly efficient. Mm. Efficiency well is my middle name. Yeah. Max Oi. Efficiency Bleep. Trust you can take it from here. You bet. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> She's so edgy. <laughs> This isn't what they envision Alfred to sound like. <laughs> this summer, <laughs> in a well, theater near you, <laughs> one man, one snake, and, not and a variety of cooking comedy fun. <laughs> Watch as he learns friendship, compassion, and how to broil in the new movie, Cyrus, Drivers, <laughs> Dines, and Drive-Ins. Damn it. I tried. <laughs> What is this show? Who um, knows anymore? I really screwed it up. The script writing did not go well. The pitch was a bit like... The pitch was awkward when I pitched the show to the network, but thankfully, my dad is the pitch man, so it's fine. Yeah. Nepotism. My dad, my dad said, exactly, nepotism. Oh no. We're going to walk by the house and we're going to hear crying. Why? Absolutely. Because it didn't work. We failed. We failed our apothecary journey. Nah, I reckon what's going to happen is the door's going to be locked. So he's going to smack the axe through it and go, here's Johnny. He's going to poke his nose through and be like, hello. <laughs> hello. I'm, unlike you, Michael, I'm a person with a big nose. So I can actually do that. Yeah. I can just sneak it through. As big as a door. As, as big a, as a door. <laughs> it's It's been really useful. Someone tried to mug me once and I just activated my nose powers. You whacked him away like I a big paddle. I whacked away. Started telling lies like no one's business. I was just like, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. And then I just smacked him <laughs> with a 20 foot long nose. At least, you know? what is this power? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, look at this man. He cares about the villagers. That sense of community is important. Yeah. Love thy neighbor. Look at him. He, he, he knows what's the status of everyone in the town that shows he cares. Mm hmm. He's a bit of a OPP. Oh man, what, he's got his life together, Michael. He oh, does. No. Let's uh, let's not use him as a role model. I'm not gonna. Well, he was decided it was a good idea to go and find a snake in a <laughs> large cave full of demon slugs alone, and then attack it with the giant axe. Like Primo has brought the woman who saved us. Mm, true. So I think that he's probably a little Hell bit man. too gung ho for his own good. Yeah, I feel like. He uh, needs to journey. He needs to find those dive drives, <laughs> dive ins, and I can't say it properly. But drives, dive ins, and 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 diners. And oh. yeah, that. Yeah. The flame take me. It worked. Aww. Nina's feeling better by the hour. We saved her. We Damn. did it. We <laughs> saved the woman. I didn't want to save her. Well, what do you mean you didn't want to save her? I want to die, and then we're sad, and then we feel bad. So then we have to go on our journey out of the town. To find redemption and learn how to be the best at our things so that it never happens again. But isn't it nice to not have an edgy protagonist? The one who's No, like, everyone has to be edgy. <laughs> one who's like motivated by just simple like I wanna help people. It's like no Yeah, but Tress has already got that role like clean. Tressa has some sort out. of warped view of capitalism. Which is like, it's a merchant's duty to protect people. And I'm like, that's not what? what? It's like merchants, like with a spear. Merchants have to stop the demon king from coming back. It's like what? Tressa just is Paul Blart, mall cop. She just is. <laughs> she just is. She's part of the. She doesn't. Why? Because she doesn't understand what her job entails. She's like, I want to be a merchant, and she just goes out and starts killing demon slugs. I'm like, what are you doing? Selling goods. <laughs> I always feel like if I was in his position, I'd rather fight a giant snake than a small snake. I just feel like it would be easier. <laughs> what? Like how would it be easier? With a small snake, right? It's it's fucking tiny. What if you miss? If you miss, then it hits you, right? But like But if it's big then it's easy to but hit. But if it's big, then it's easy it's easier for it to hit you. 
and it's like got longer reach and no. you can't step on it and you can't run away because it's big. No, but then I'm the snake that's hard to hit. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't you understand? No, but the, what? Like, I think... Like, it's easier to dodge. I think flies have given you, like, a, a, a warped <laughs> perception of, like, what it's like to be a little creature against the big creature. Of actual combat. Like, they don't often win, so which is why they have to have poison, or else, like, we would just smush them. Like, yeah, lizards like, don't have poison, you just smush them. Imagine just smushing a lizard. That's like you versus the snake. Yeah, but snakes are more agile than lizards. Absolutely. And I'm more agile than a big snake. <laughs> because you've become, like... Okay, let's like use a real example. Would you rather fight like a red belly black? Okay, this is not a, okay. Let's say they're both poisonous. It's a red belly black snake or a python from the Amazon, like a fucking huge python with what like arms with like a trunk longer than. You have an axe. You're Alfin. You have an axe, and it's a giant snake or a little snake. I'd rather fight the python. No, because it's a giant. It'll just exactly. kill you. It's big. Yeah, but like. It, and there's more space to hit it that will do serious damage. No, but I have to be super it's, close to the red belly so black much snake to hit it. It's so much easier to kill you because, like, a little snake yeah. has a little head and yeah, it has to bite lighter. you with that. Right? They can jump at you. Yeah, but so can a big snake. It's like heavy. It's, <laughs> it's, it's easier. It's not how it works. It's the big things can't jump. <laughs> what? It's, have you ever seen an elephant jump? No, but that's different. Like, it's a snake. It's big. No, but like, it's like, oh, I've made a frog. And it's like a giant frogs, frog now, frogs but it can't jump, jump because it's bigger. No, but it's it's light and small, so it can, still it can jump very far. It can still totally lash out. It can still totally spring back and just constrict you. I'd rather fight a big boy snake than a... <laughs> <laughs> I just think it would be easier. I, I can't believe that. I just... You don't underestimate it, dude. Don't I, th underestimate I just think it's crazy. It's... <laughs> it's like, it's like, I remember once I was like, you know, you know, when you play Halo in high school and the two guys who were really good at Halo fought the rest of like the design and technology class. Yeah. So it's like 12 against one. And they're like, oh, look, look at their little army. We're going to take them down. It's going to be so easy. There's so many more people to shoot. And at the yeah. same time, like in real life, that's really, no, that's bad. I mean, it's true. Like, especially in situations where it's like based on how many kills you need. Like, did you see that thing a, a while ago where... I think it was at E3. Um, they had one guy versus three in Smash, and he won because he just got more elims at the end. It was like one pro Smash guy against three like celebrities, right? And he won because he yeah, just yeah. had more kills at the end because it was 1v3. It was easier for him to get kills for them than for them. That's true. Yeah. Wait, the, 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 is that because you get... The, 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 it's completely dispar... Was it about points? Yes. Well, that's st that's really dumb because we can just. <laughs> it's not stock, I don't think. That's so stupid. Of course it is because he's got so many more opportunities to get points, and there's no, there's barely any punishment for him dying. Yeah, especially against people who don't play Smash. Exactly. In a, in an actual like stock match, he's in so much trouble. Yeah. But also, but. Well, maybe not. But if you turn, okay, actually no, because if you turn off friendly fire, then it's really hard. Friendly fire was off. Because wait. So that, they, like, they couldn't hurt each other. They couldn't hurt each other. I don't think. Because then he should have just lost. Because that's ridiculous. <laughs> when friendly fire's on, like, it's so much easier. Because you can just, like, stand on top of each other and attack. And just pummel him from pummel two sides. Pummel him, exactly. It's like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Just Bowser, Charizard, both flaming from exactly. inside. Exactly, and you're just immune to it. It's amazing. Just keep him in there. Exactly. So, like, that's a broken strategy. But in real life... It's not like excellent. There's twelve people against my two. Now I can kill more of them. Have you seen those movies with all the ninjas that attack the one guy? Oh, the inverse Who comes out on top. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the inverse law of ninjas. <laughs> oh, I love the. Inv I, I tell that story all the time. The inverse law of ninjas is that like on each side of the fight, there's like a certain amount of ninja power. So when they, when one guy is fighting more ninjas, what happens is the ninja power is dispersed among the 600 ninjas, which means that each of them is really weak. But all the ninja power is in one guy, so he's super strong, so he can easily beat all 600 ninjas. But then, like, if it's one ninja, 
then all the ninja power is inside that one ninja. So he's as strong as 600 ninjas. Yeah. So then it's really hard for the, for the one guy to beat him. I'm gonna take so the more ninja ninjas you have, the weaker each of them are. It's true. It's true. I'll take that into account when I'm writing D&D combat for, for on Sunday. It's important. It's important. You got to know that about life. Yeah. That's why it's better to send in one soldier <laughs> than to send in 60,000. I mean, I mean World, War thought? World War Two idiots. They don't know. Churchill, what are you doing? Churchill, you don't yeah. know what's going on. Eisenhower, what it's are you just doing? Bigger targets, you know. Exactly. Wow. If you just send in one, one man, rogue. one rogue is all you one need. One guy, one AK-47. He's invincible. It's true. The inverse law of ninjas. If you just send one guy against the the axis of power, <laughs> he just generates bullets from the air. Exactly. He's invincible. I yeah. wholeheartedly believe so. He can just do the whole. Th he can do the 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 Rambo thing where he's like, I pick up the gun of my dead comrades. <laughs> I'm so powerful. Ah, oh, did we just exchange satchels? Right, yeah, they man. did. That's nice. See you so now we'll right. always be together. Exactly. We can always you think of each that. other. We can look at our bags. Hey man, do you want my jacket? <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, hey, hey Michael, can I have your jacket as well? <laughs> if you really want. Yeah, awesome. Hey, hey Michael, like, <laughs> do you want that TV? I'll give you my TV. Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> my TV is small. My TV is a $300 shit box that's a quarter of the size but we'll just trade because we're oh, friends it's, 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 it's i think okay. that's a great idea okay, Max. i think we did it i think we've just solved the problem oh boy how do you become unfriends with someone um, <laughs> just, just just for a moment hey audience quick question how do you unfriend someone in real life is it with gun is it with knife no what if the joy con just flicked out and it was, no. a, and, and it was a knife Hey Michael, let's next time on Demi Games. That's how you. That's how you become not friends with someone. Very I'm gonna easily. go get a restraining order next time on Demi Games. <laughs>